What is going on everyone? Welcome to my channel. My name is Jossie Lynn J and in today's video, we're gonna be comparing Mac to PC for web development. I've gotten a lot of questions regarding, hey, should I get a MacBook or a PC for web development? I've also got that question when it comes to computer science and I'll answer that in another video. But in today's video, we're gonna focus on web development. Those of you all who are new to the channel, welcome. I am a content creator, but I'm also a front-end developer. I'd love for you all to hit that subscribe button and become part of the fam. We do some pretty cool things over here, talk about web development, full stack development, software engineering, a little bit of lifestyle, and some consumer tech like laptops. With that being said, let's get into the content of this video. One of the main reasons why I decided to do this video was not only because it was like one of my top five frequently ask questions, but also because I have experience using the MacBook Pro and the Dell XPS. I currently use a 15 inch MacBook Pro for front end development, but I also use a Dell XPS 15 for personal development, personal projects. Basically, it's my personal workhorse. So I figured it'd be good to compare the two to, to clear up any confusion on which one you should choose. Since releasing a few videos about the Dell XPS 15, MacBook Pro and front end development, I've been getting a number of comments about whether Mac or PC is better for web development. The technologies that I use for front end web development are open source and run on Linux, Mac, and PC. The reason why I bring this up is because the OS you prefer using plays a major role when it comes to deciding which laptop to use for web development. And it's good to know that the most popular and widely used technologies such as NPM, Node.js, React, Vue, and Angular all can be installed and ran on Mac and PC. So regardless of what operating system you choose, one won't make you more successful than the other if they have the same specs, but I will say it certainly does help. Choosing the right computer can make a huge difference to your performance and productivity when developing. But before we get into the pros and cons of a Mac or PC, I wanna to touch on a few factors that play a major role in choosing the right laptop regardless of the operating system. Not everyone has thousands of dollars to spend on a laptop. And when you're a student or just exploring web development, you wanna buy a laptop that has a good cost to performance ratio. Hardware requirements are important, especially when you plan on using this laptop for professional web development. Having enough storage, in my opinion, is the most important requirement outside of RAM, especially if you're gonna be using apps like Photoshop, Lightroom, and After Effects. And remember, when you're doing web development, code is really just text. So most of these IDEs, hence integrated development environments, don't require a lot of processing power or any graphics processing. However, hardware requirements are important, especially when you plan on using this laptop for professional web development. Last but not least, personal preference. If you simply hate using Finder on a Mac, then you'll be miserable navigating and manipulating the hundreds to thousands of project files that you'll be handling as a developer. If you hate the trackpad that 95% of PCs offer, then you'll be miserable using your computer. Plus, being proficient in an operating system can enhance the overall experience. Okay, so now that we talked about the few factors that play a major role in selecting a laptop, regardless of your operating system preference, we're gonna talk about the pros and cons of each operating system or laptop when it comes to web development, it's undeniable that what sets Mac apart from PC is robustness and reliability. Apple ensures that Mac systems are optimized to work together, which makes Macs run more smoothly for the duration of their lifetime. Apple laptops have outstanding durability and build quality, which is why they have a premium price tag but also making aftermarket prices impressive. It's also very convenient to be able to just walk into an Apple store and get your laptop fixed the very same day. So from a customer service standpoint, 
Mac is far superior to PC. Destroy me in the comments though. I hope you all are enjoying this video. Before we continue talking about MacBook Pros, let's hear a word from the sponsor of this video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community where millions from all around the world come together, take the next step in their creative journey. Skillshare classes include a combination of video lessons and a class project. I find that type of learning very valuable because not only do you get a chance to learn from industry professionals, but you also get a chance to take the skill sets you've learned and apply them to something tangible like a project. If you are someone who's really busy, you don't have a lot of time, but you wanna learn a new skill or you wanna enhance the current skill set you have, most Skillshare courses are less than 60 minutes. The first thousand of my subscribers to click this link that will also be in the description box will get two free months of Skillshare Premium. And for those of you all who wanna take it to the next level, you can get a Skillshare annual membership for less than $10 a month, which is a great value, especially considering the fact that you're gaining new skill sets from industry professionals and you have thousands of courses to select from, which will help catapult you into a new career field. Once again, thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Mac laptops also have very intuitive design, making them easy to use right out of the box, even if you've never owned a MacBook before. Working out of the box is something I took for granted before switching to PC as my personal laptop. This is more of a personal preference, but the Mac OS experience is more polished and intuitive, which makes focusing on the task at hand easier. One of my favorite features the Mac offers is the built-in terminal that has an experience closer to Linux. It's actually the main reason why I recommend Macs over PC for computer science students. The reason why I never even considered a PC as a computer science student, because you can do almost everything from the terminal. As a matter of fact, during freshman and sophomore year, I did all my programming projects using the terminal and nano. I wouldn't advise using only the terminal and nano, but it was easily accessible. The commands and the experience were nearly the same as the Unix computers in our computer science lab, which allowed me to submit projects remotely and learn Linux and Unix commands a lot quicker than my peers. When it comes to web development, especially front-end development, collaborating with designers and project managers is crucial. All the popular design and productivity apps run on Mac OS. So when I'm working with a team of designers on a project, we can easily share assets through the server. We can communicate more effectively since we're using the same operating system and all the applications use the same commands which makes the process of design and development a lot smoother. To be honest with you, I don't have a lot of major cons when it comes to Macs as laptops for web developers. However, one major con that I have for Macs as laptops is the premium price tag. Historically, Macs have had a poor price to performance ratio and typically catering to users who are looking for a higher performance laptop with really an endless budget. The cheapest new generation of MacBook Pros that have 16 gigs of RAM are at least $2,000, and that includes the 13 inch. With that hefty price tag, you don't get a ton of storage or powerful graphics if you wanna use your laptop for gaming or video editing. I understand that the main purpose of this laptop is to do web development. I'm spending $2,000 on a laptop. You best believe me that I better be able to do more than just web development efficiently. I better not have problems using Premiere Pro, After Effects, Photoshop, and a keyboard better be perfect. Oh wait, that's the other problem. If you don't have a budget for the newest iteration of the MacBook Pros, you're stuck with that awful, dreaded butterfly keyboard. Sometimes as a consumer, you feel like Apple refuses to innovate and they just give us the minimal spec updates for new releases because they know people will buy their laptops 
regardless because of their name, customer service, and design. They recently did listen to customers by fixing that dreaded butterfly keyboard and phased out the 15 inch for the 16 inch. Another con that I have with Mac OS is Finder. I know this is a personal preference, but when it comes to software development and creating many, many different files for projects, Finder just doesn't cut it for me. I personally don't think the design of Finder is intuitive at all. It feels very dated. The search is awful. The viewing options for files and projects is very limited. And when you build projects with JavaScript frameworks, you're going to be working with a lot of project files. So if Finder is a headache, development's going to be a headache. The other gripe that I have with Macs are the lack of ports. I find connecting to external displays with my PC a lot easier, and I don't need to pay additional money for dongles in order to use an external mouse, keyboard, or display. Well, not only are you paying a premium price for the laptop, but you're spending additional money on accessories. Outside of those few cons, with one of them being a major factor, if not the most important factor, the price tag, Macs are preferred and a great option for web developers. Obviously, a major pro to PC laptops is the cost. When you're doing more than client-side web development, maybe some backend development with Node.js, Python with a database attached, and 16 gigs of RAM is a must for optimal development performance. So PC laptops or Windows laptops have a much larger selection to choose from so you don't have to break the bank and you can save one third the price in some cases. Also developers cater to the largest market which would be PC. PC laptops are upgradable and have more options for different components. So if you're a client side web developer today and only need an i5 processor and eight gigs of RAM, but transition to more of a full stack or backend developer, you can upgrade your PC components to meet your development needs. Now, when it comes to navigating and creating files, I find that Finder, no pun intended, has a better experience than Mac. I can pin folders quickly. I have a whole tab full of viewing options for the directory I'm viewing, and I'm a big fan of quick access, making it easier for me to navigate recent project files that I might have created with Git Bash. Last but not least, ports. I mean, I already talked about the lack of ports that Macs have, and depending on the size of the laptop you buy, PCs typically don't lack any ports. All right, the moment you Mac fanboys have been waiting for, <laughs> PC cons. I think it's historically recognized that PC laptops don't age well. So if you are a developer investing in a laptop that you wanna last you the next five years, then you better get a warranty because if there isn't a software issue that'll arise, I'm sure one of those cheap plastic materials a laptop was made of will break at some point in time. And I'm only speaking from experience. I'm not saying that all PCs have an inferior build quality to Macs, but since so many different companies can create Windows laptops, they don't all have the same consistent build quality. I personally don't like the PC PowerShell, the commands are not the same as Linux or Unix system. Also, if you are a student studying computer science or software engineering, you'll find yourself using third-party technologies like PuTTY in order to SSH into your virtual machine in order to run your project on top of Linux or a Unix system. I found that my peers with Windows in college had to do more work to just submit a project or make sure that it will run or to make sure that the project will work on the professor's computer. PC operating systems can run on tons of machines with different hardware. So Windows applications won't ever be 100% compatible with every hardware or software combination, which will cost the developer way too much time to test and debug. And as a developer, time is money. PCs also don't work right out of the box, depending on what dependencies or drivers you're upgrading or installing, you have to configure your Windows laptop to point to the new dependency or driver and sometimes needing to pay for the upgrade so the software does not work with the hardware as well as Mac software work with their hardware. So that concludes this video. My recommendation is to choose a MacBook Pro or MacBook Air even for web development. I know it may seem hypocritical because I have a Dell XPS, but 
The main reason why I got a Dell XPS is for video editing. If I was just strictly doing web development, I would have been fine with a 13 inch and like a 27 inch or larger monitor or the previous generation 15 inch. I know the keyboard sucks for the older generation of MacBook Pros, but I use a wireless keyboard and wireless mouse anyway. So really it just comes down to operating system preference. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it at all. Comment down below your favorite operating system or software development. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I love for you all to become a part of this wonderful community. And as always, have a blessed rest of your week. I'll see you soon. Peace. Don't need to know about that. I'll protect you with my lies. You don't need to know about that. Don't need to know about that. Just let me love you. Just let me love you.